Hi, my name is Zachary Livonian, and I want to talk to you about Ors Inspect. Ors Inspect is a web app hosted on Toolforge, and you can try the beta version right now by visiting ors-inspect.toolforge.org. As you can see, Ors Inspect is an experimental tool for looking at the predictions made by the Ors machine learning system. Ors tries to determine if edits to Wikipedia are damaging or not. We designed ORS Inspect to make it easy to verify if ORS is working well, and more generally, to make it easier to audit the machine learning models that are used on Wikipedia. Before we click through to the interface, I want to talk a bit more about auditing in general. I don't really like the term auditing um, because it uh, has a bunch of contradictory and conflicting definitions, but the basic definition I prefer is any testing done by someone other than the system developer. On Wikipedia, why would people want to test a machine learning system? Well, to determine if it's functioning reasonably. Does it meet your expectations? Does it align with consensus? If you're not familiar with the ORS system, it was created by the folks at the Wikimedia Foundation to make some tasks easier. The most prominent ORS model is used to estimate how likely an edit is to be damaging to an article. A lot of editors, myself included, use ORS edit quality predictions to highlight edits on special recent changes, just as one example of how the models gets used. Um, so ORS assigns a score between 0 and 1 to every single revision, and then those scores get thresholded into a few different buckets. Uh, this added on the left inserted the words free map in the middle of a word, classic English Wikipedia vandalism, and ORS thinks it's damaging with a score of 0.755. My revert to that vandalism received a score of only 0.057, so probably not damaging to the article. As you can imagine, these edit quality predictions do matter. Uh, Nate to Blunt Hay did a clever study on this a few years ago, um, finding that edits that are flagged by ORS are more likely to be reverted. And that means that if I'm an editor on a wiki where ORS is used, I want to make sure that ORS is doing reasonable things. And by the way, ORS got replaced um, with the new Liftwing platform and a slightly different model. All the stuff I'm talking about is, is still applicable. Um, so the first motivating intuition I want to highlight here is that people have diverse motivations for auditing. If I care about newcomer retention, I might want to make sure that ORS isn't unfairly harsh to unregistered editors. If I care about a particular topic like LGBT history, I might want to make sure that ORS isn't missing vandalism on pages in a particular category. So it's hard to create a one-size-fits-all approach to verifying a system's behavior. You have to give people tools to express their interests. And ORS Inspect is my attempt to make this problem easier by addressing three challenges that make auditing ML models difficult. So first, you have to identify a sample of incorrect predictions, at least one example of an undesired system response. Then you have to determine if those incorrect predictions are a true pattern of undesired behavior, what we might call a bug, or something like noise or a spurious correl correlation. Um, finally, you have to actually convince the system designers to fix the undesired behavior. That third one might seem like kind of a gimme. Um, in my experience, the foundation team would love more direct feedback on model shortfalls. Uh, but really, the challenge is to make an informative bug report, which is uh, not so easy. And the usual approach is just to have developers do it themselves on the basis of individual misclassification reports. That's not really satisfying to me, because we want people to bring their own perspectives and priorities to bear on the system. Um, but I'm sure that many people listening are familiar with the challenges of identi identifying high quality evidence. The village pump is full of discussions with, let's say, well-meaning attempts to assemble quantitative evidence to test various hypotheses. We wanted to help people assemble high quality evidence for hypotheses like ORS is biased against new editors. So to do that, we designed ORS Inspect around four steps. Let's take a look at those by uh, glancing at the interface. You can log in with your English Wikipedia account. Um, and your first step is to choose which edits to look at. Uh, by default, you're just looking at all main space zero um, the article namespace edits, but also the, the new camera and the LGBT history examples I gave are available. Or you can define your own um, by using details of the page that was edited, the edit itself, or the user who made the edit, which um, there's more categories and stuff we'd like to add as well. The goal is to focus on the stuff that you find most interesting. The second step is to focus uh, on either unexpected reverts or unexpected consensus. If you choose to look at unexpected reverts, you're looking at edits that ORS thinks were not damaging, but that the community reverted anyway. 
if you choose to look at unexpected consensus, you're looking at edits that ORS thinks are damaging, but that the community didn't revert. And that's the second uh, key motivating intuition behind ORS inspect, that we can use the community response to an edit as a powerful informative signal for identifying potential shortcomings in ORS predictions. So for example, if we look at the edits that ORS thinks are good, 92% are not reverted, which would make sense, but 8% are. This is a really rich and interesting space to look. If we look at the edits that ORS thinks are bad, 95% are reverted, but 5% aren't. That's again, a really interesting place to look. And it ensures that you're looking at revisions that are gonna be interesting and relevant to you. Ultimately, you do have to inspect um, individual revisions. You have to take a look at uh, a particular revision, determine, you know, do I think that this edit is damaging or not damaging? Um, and uh, I do think that this focus on it, little individual edits is a little bit unfortunate, but it is the best way to engage uh, with the predictions that ORS is actually making. And then you can take your results and uh, discuss them with the ORS developers or on the Village Pump or wherever. Um, so uh, I built ORS Inspect because it was a tool I wish I had, um, but I also built it as a bit of a provocation. I'm, I'm hoping that vandalism controllers are going to use it to reason about what kinds of auditing questions are too hard to answer with existing auditing tooling so that we can build better tools and people can answer better questions and we can have better discussions. Um, our angle here was to focus on assembling high quality evidence by thinking hard about the sample used to identify misclassifications. There's lots of other interesting potential approaches. Um, your feedback is uh, most welcome on my talk page, uh, which is listed here. Um, I wanna thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to an interesting discussion. Thank you.